Hi guys, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm making a well overdue cocktail, the zombie. This one is from the Smuggler's Cove cocktail book, which is a slightly adapted from the original recipe, which was created by Don the Beachcomber. As you can see, there's a lot of ingredients sitting on the bar and it's a, it's a pretty potent drink, but let's get straight into it. Start off with uh, one of our three rums. So Smuggler's Cove, uh, the cocktail book, one of my favorite things is the fact that it references um, a particular style of rum, i.e. a blended age rum as opposed to a brand. So it's very approachable for people that are trying to recreate the cocktails. If you don't have that brand, then there's a, a list of alternative rums and it's incredibly informative, that book. It's, it's a really good read. So I'll link to that in the description below. So first of all, I've got a blended age rum. I'm using El Dorado 12 year. So 1.5 ounces, 45 mil. Thank you to William T, by the way, for the El Dorado. And thank you, Sarah, for the uh, Angostura 7. So 45 mil of a column still aged rum. And thank you, Rick W, for the overproof. Now, this is the one alteration that I'm uh, making to the recipe. So theirs does call for a uh, dark overproof. Um, they call for 30 mil, one ounce. So a good alternative, uh, one of their recommendations is plantation. Then we've got 15 mil, half an ounce of velvet for learnum. Add that straight in. Then we've got three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice. I had this left over from my last cocktail I was making. And a quarter ounce of fresh grapefruit juice. This is gonna go over a bet. Seven and a half mil, quarter ounce. Straight in. Then quarter ounce of cinnamon syrup. Seven and a half mil. And then the recipe does call for Herbstura, which is a equal parts blend of Angostura and Herb Saint, which is an anise flavored liqueur. I don't have Herb Saint, I'm using an absinthe. So one dash of Angostura and one dash of absinthe. That didn't work too well. So it calls for flash blending. And I almost forgot Whew, the grenadine, that was a close call. So it calls for a bar spoon of house-made grenadine. Ooh, that's nice and thick. It says to add 12 ounces of crushed ice. Just guesstimating really. You can always top it up later. And I'm going to flash blend this off camera. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, so, so this is a really big glass. It's got quite a big volume, so I'm going to put some crushed ice before I strain it into there. So it's been flash blended. Loosely strain it straight in. Almost all the way to the top. Might need a little bit more crushed ice. Now that it's topped up with ice, you can garnish it however you please. It's got grapefruit juice in there, so I'm gonna put a slice of ruby red grapefruit. Uh, I have blackberries on hand, so I'm going to garnish it with a few blackberries and might go pineapple spear, just anything you have really. Let's go a little bit over the top and I do have a big bunch of mint that isn't looking that flash. 
and surf it with a straw as well. If you want 20% off the glass straws from surfsidesips.com, use the coupon code STB20. They have a zombie well overdue. It should have been on the channel a long time, time ago. Uh, thank you again to William, Sarah, and Rick for utilizing the Buy the Back Bar feature. Much appreciated. There you have a very potent zombie. You've got four shots of rum in it. You've got a little bit of falernum, cinnamon syrup, a bit of spice, a bit of anise. Let's dig in. Surprisingly, considering how much booze in there, it, it actually doesn't taste that strong. The flash blending, I've strained over crushed ice as well, so adds extra dilution. There's a, a lot of flavor in there. It's intense, it's complex. The, the, the bitters, the, like, I love these accents. The cinnamon, the bitters, and the um, anise flavor. It's very subtle, it comes through, and then you've just got a big punch of rum. These are incredibly dangerous. Um, I believe they had a, a two zombie rule, and they wouldn't actually serve people more than two zombies for for very good reason, because you have two of these and you're an absolute mess. But um, that is a delicious drink. As far as the garnish goes, it's a little. I feel like it's a little bit higgledy piggledy. Uh, I probably wouldn't put a blackberry in it normally, but this is the kind of fruit that I had lying around in the fridge. So, yeah, awesome cocktail. If you have all these ingredients, give it a go. Or if you prefer a different recipe, let me know, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.